About two and a half years ago, I made a trip to California with a Masters Five, and this fella come up to me, black hair, pretty black mustache. He looked like a movie star. Had great old, big old, strong shoulders, and little old bitty skinny waist. I wanted to throw up. He said, I'm a bass singer and I want a job. I said, well, buddy, in case you ain't noticed, the bass singing job of the Masters Five is definitely filled. J.D. Summer will whip you for his job. He said, no, I ain't what I'm talking about. I'm saying if you ever find you a group or you know of a group that want a bass singer, I'm available. So he gave me a business card. I didn't think no more about it. Well, last October at the National Quartet Convention in Nashville, I announced my resignation from the Masters Five. Tommy had been doing some filling work with us, so we both left him at the same time. And so... Uh, it was out that we were going to start the group with, with Dave called Exodus. So it was written up in the singing news and the gospel voice and all the different trade papers that were there in attendance at the Quartet Convention. So the news went out all over the country. Well, telephones started ringing. People started calling us. Nice to ask us to come sing. And so we was planning here, there, and yonder to go sing. One day, I was home in my office at the house, and Shirley, my wife, said, Honey, come quick. There's a, there's a long-distance phone call all the way from California. I said, Well, praise the Lord. They already want us to come sing. California. You know. So I get there on the phone. I said, Hi, this is Steve Warren of Exodus from Nashville, Tennessee. Can I help you? I ain't heard from you yet. I said, Well, there's a real good reason for that. He said, I understand you've left the Masters Five. I said, Yep. He said, I understand you formed you a new group. Yep. I understand it's just three parts, just a trio. Yep. He said, by any chance, you wouldn't be looking for us. I said, nope. Didn't think no more about it. Well, everything got to rocking along pretty good. We went down to Conroe about, about three weeks ago to hold a three-night revival down there. Brother Charles Wigley, the first no, the East Side Assembly of God Church down there in Conroe. And it was going to be a Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. Well, about 30 minutes before time for the, for the service start on Friday night, I look at the back of the church, and what do I see? Black hair, black mustache. And great old, big old shoulder, that little bit of skinny teen I said, well, bless his heart. He sure has come a long way to hear us sing for, for, for three nights. Bless his heart. Well, you know, come on in, man. We're glad to have you. So he was there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. Our bus is being worked on in Texas, so we was all in cars. And so the next morning, we head back to Nashville. Didn't think no more about it. About 100 miles out of Nashville, I look in my rearview mirror. Black hair. Black mustache. And great old big old shoulder. But it didn't look quite as disgusting then, JR, because I couldn't see that little bit of skinny waist. For all I knew, he's as fat as I was, see? So I said, well, hey, this guy is really serious about, about this singing bit. He wants to come on to Nashville and try to hook up with somebody to sing with, you know? Didn't think no more about that. Well, we got home. A couple of days later, we had to leave out again. You got it. I ain't going to tell somebody that big to go back to California. I ain't arguing with him, you know? If the boy wants to sing, he wants to sing. But somewhere along the way, he's heard a little bit. All the way from Stockton, California, make welcome Mr. Nick Val. I can say his name is Nick Val. You glad to see him? If I could be like you, Lord, I know I'd have it made. Because you're just like a rose that never wills or never fades. Your love's like the light that shines the dark has always been And nothing in this world can give your love from shining, shining in Shining in Shining in Shining in and No matter what, your love keeps shining in I can't afford to lose this time with you, I'm bound to win I'll just let your love keep shining in Shining I've been up but right back down is always where I'd go And I was sure that one day I'd get used to feeling low Nothing seemed to matter though the world came to an end And I was set for darkness when your love was shining and shining in Shining in, shining in, shining in. No matter what, your love keeps shining in I can't afford to lose this time with you. I'm bound to win. I'll just let your love keep shining in. Shining in. Well, what do y'all think? He looks like a table waiter at El Chico's, don't he? 
shining in, shining in, shining in. No matter what, your love keeps shining I can't afford to lose this time with you, I'm bound to win. Well, just let your love keep shining in. Shining in. Oh, shining in. Shining in. Shining in. Shining in. No matter what, your love keeps shining in. I can't afford to lose this time with you, I'm bound to win. Well, just let your love keep shining in. Shining in. Isn't that something? He's a sight. He is 26 years old. Bass singers normally don't develop like that till they're 106. He's a, he's, he is definitely abnormal. You can call him abnormal. Steve calls him a freak. I don't know. But nevertheless, he does a super job. And I'll tell you this, too. The young man loves the Lord, and that's, that's vitally important. But God don't have to settle for junk. I don't believe in junk for Jesus. And uh, it's, it's refreshing. It feels good to see a young man that really loves Jesus and has given his heart and life to him and is willing to use his talents for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.